Welcome to the 8.2 Comparing Arithmetic and Geometric Sequences. In this video, we're going to compare the two different kinds of sequences and also review how to use each formula. So remember, um, arithmetic, you have the common difference in the front, and then times your n minus 1, and then plus a sub 1. Remember, a sub 1 is the first term in the sequence. D stands for the common difference, which you find by dividing the second number by the first number. But with arithmetic sequence, you're actually going to find it by subtracting the second number from the first number. And then with geometric, you have um, A sub N, which is the answer you're looking for. A sub 1 is your first term. R is the common ratio. And remember, that needs to be written as a decimal. And then it's going to be raised to the power of N minus 1. So you do the exponent first, then times it by a sub 1 in this problem for geometric sequences. And remember, for common ratio, we divide the second number by the first number when we're given a table or a set of numbers. All right, so for this table, it says determine if the sequence is arithmetic or geometric, write the explicit rule, then find the eighth term in the sequence. So on the left-hand side, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So we can first check to see if they're adding a certain amount, and then if they're not, then we check to see if they're multiplying by a certain amount. So 2 to 4 is a difference of 2, 4 to 6 is a difference of 2, 6 to 8 is a difference of 2, and 8 to 10 is a difference of 2. So that means it is arithmetic because you're adding, and then the rule is that you're just adding 2. So then if we're finding the eighth term, we're going to use the arithmetic sequence formula, which is a sub n equals d times parentheses n minus 1 plus a sub 1. So we just plug in things that we know. So our d is going to be the adding 2. And then n is going to be what the sequence we're looking for, which is 8. And then a sub 1 is the first number in the sequence, which is 2. So you do 2 times 8 and 2 times negative 1 first. So that's 16 minus 2, bring down the plus 2, and then just add and subtract. So 16 minus 2 is 14, 14 plus 2 is 16. So then a sub 8 mean is equal to 16. On the right-hand side, 2 to 4, 4 to 8, 16, and 32. That is geometric because it's multiplying by 2 each time. And you can find that by trying to see if there's a common difference by subtracting. So 4 minus 2 is 2, but 8 minus 4 is 4, so that doesn't work. So then you have to do 4 divided by 2, which is 2, and 8 divided by 4, which is also 2. So we know it's geometric. So then for that, you're going to multiply by 2. And then the eighth term, we're going to use the geometric sequence formula, which is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to the n minus 1 power. So we're going to find a sub 1, which is 2. That's the first number in the sequence. Times the ratio, which we just found was also 2. And we're looking for the eighth term, so we're going to do 8 minus 1, which 2 raised to 8 minus 1 is 2 to the 7th power. 2 to the 7th power is 128. Times that by the 2 in the front, and you get 256 for your answer for this side. All right, so for this one, we have to determine if the following sequence is arithmetic, geometric, or neither. So the first problem, you have a difference between 1 and 3 of plus 2, then plus 3, then plus 4, and plus 5. So I did it up and down like that just because the numbers are close to each other and it's kind of hard to write plus next to each other because you get confused. So you don't have to do it like that. You could do it all underneath the sequence. Um, and so... The, because they're all different, we have to see if they're geometric. So we know that they're not arithmetic. So geometric, we do the division. So 3 divided by 1 is 3, and then 6 divided by 3 is 2. We just take the second number, divide it by the first number, and then take the third number and divide it by the second number. So just right to left. And because those two don't match either, then it's not geometric, so it has to be neither. And then the next one, we have a difference of plus 3 each time. So if it's adding the same amount every time, it's arithmetic. 
And then for the third one, we have 4, 16, 36, 64, 100. So let's check to see if it adds by the same amount, and it does not. The difference is 12, then 20, then 28, then 36. Then we're going to divide. So 16 divided by 4 is 4, and then 36 divided by 16 is 2.5, or 2.25, sorry. And those two do not match, so it is not geometric either. So that means it's neither again. And then for number four, we would try to find the difference between adding each time. Um, but for this one, actually, let me go back one. So for this one, we don't even have to worry about the adding one because look at the numbers. They go negative, then positive, then back negative, then positive, then back negative again. So because it's doing that, we know it has to be multiplying by a negative number in order to change the sign each time. So if you take 12 and divide it by 4, you get negative 3. Then you take the third one divided by the second one, which is negative 36 divided by 12, you also get negative 3. So that means it's a geometric sequence. Then the fifth one, we've got 1, 5, 25, 125, 625. So we know it's not adding, so let's go automatically to the dividing. So we'll do 5 divided by 1 is 5, and 25 divided by 5 is also 5, so we know it's geometric. And then our last one, 5, 10, or 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, you can probably already tell it's by adding 10 each time. So if it's adding, then it's arithmetic. Go Seahawks. Woo! <laughs>